हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू ए के अग्रवाल एप्टीट्यूड सीरीज फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ए टेक्निक फॉर सॉल्विंग ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन फैमिली रिलेशनशिप हियर द गिविन प्रॉब्लम इज देयर आर सिक्स मेंबर्स इन ए फैमिली नेमली एम एन ओ पी क्यू एंड आर वेयर पी इज द ग्रैंड मदर ऑफ एम एंड मदर ऑफ एन एम इज सन ऑफ ओ R is the granddaughter of Q. O is wife of N and mother of R. There are two married couples. Question is how many male members are there in the family? So just based on this information we have to answer this question. Of course there may be more question based on the information given. So once again we have to draw a family tree based on the above information. once we are having the family tree we can answer any question based on the information given let us draw, uh, draw the family tree based on the information statement wise first statement is p is the grandmother of m and mother of n p is the grandmother of m and mother of n p is the grandmother of m and mother of n okay so p n and m they will be related like this one origin one generation second origin second generation third generation third origin similarly you can draw the family tree okay m is the son of o m is the son of o so n and o this is one couple m is son so again m is a male member but whether n is father or mother o is father or mother it is not clear next statement is r is the grand daughter of q r and q they are not uh, they, no other relationship is given so it is difficult to incorporate this r and q in this family tree so let us underline this statement for the time being r is the grand daughter of q okay o is wife of n okay O is wife of N. It means O is a female member. N is a male member. O is wife of N and mother of R. O is the mother of R. Okay. So this statement is taken care. Now next statement is there are two married couples. This is one married couple, but another married couple still it is not clear. So let us underline this. Okay now once again let us read this statement R is the granddaughter of Q now if you see in this tree R is the granddaughter of P and now in this statement R is the granddaughter of Q it means P is married to Q R is a female and P is married to Q P is female so certainly Q is a male member so now there are two married couples this is one married couple this is another married couple so now this family tree is complete and all the information given in the problem is incorporated in this tree now you can answer this question very easily how many male members are there in the family three male members q n and m how many female members 1 2 3 again there may be any question based on this family tree and once you are having this family tree you can answer any question without any difficulty thank you very much friends for watching this video you can also follow me on facebook thank you very much